Hi guys, welcome back to FinPact. Today we're going to take a look at how the world is becoming increasingly more crypto friendly. And before we jump into this video, guys, this video is sponsored by one of my favorite cryptocurrency exchanges, Bit4Rex. They have an array of different cryptocurrencies that you can trade, tons of different trading pairs, lots of new projects launching on their turbo starter. And I want to show you guys the Bit4Rex scavenger hunt. This is an exciting event where you can get an exclusive NFT and a share of $30,000 worth of rewards. So as you can see, this is a crypto treasure hunt. So users can participate in competitions and various social media activities. The scavenger hunt is from the 24th of October, so it has already begun and it is until the 31st of December 2022. And there are four holiday events. The first being Halloween, then Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then New Year's. So on each holiday, Bit4X will distribute 200 themed NFTs. This will be over the four events and there will be 50 NFTs distributed per event. Users that get the four different NFTs, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's will be able to draw rewards from the pool of over $30,000 in prizes, including NFTs and various project tokens. All the rewards will go onto the user's Bit4X account. Some events will even have individual USDT rewards apart from the NFTs. So to follow the events of the scavenger hunt, check out the Bit4X's official Twitter, which is linked down below in the description box. So for example, they have a scavenger hunt quiz that is currently live and you can compete for 50 NFTs and $200 worth in prizes. This is a fantastic opportunity. All the details of the scavenger hunt are down below in the description box and details of the sponsorship are also down below in the disclaimer. Now, without further ado, let's jump into why the world has become more friendly towards crypto. Now, in my previous two videos that I posted recently, I talked about the increasing crypto regulations, which is great because it provides great foundations for mass adoption in the crypto industry. I also made a video on how institutions are so involved in the crypto industry. Many of them hold reserves and this is giving us a floor price for Bitcoin. And that's why we're not seeing Bitcoin crash to levels pre the last bull run. So maybe around a $15,000 Bitcoin, $10,000 Bitcoin. We haven't seen prices like that because institutions have accumulated reserves and are simply holding them. Now, I don't know who's from the UK, but I'm based in the UK. And recently we have a new prime minister, Rishi Sunak. But the thing is, Rishi Sunak is incredibly crypto friendly. He really supports the digital asset space. In fact, he wants to make Britain a global crypto hub. He said, it's my ambition to make the UK a global hub for crypto asset technology. And the measures we've outlined today will help to ensure firms can invest, innovate and scale up in this country. We've also had huge news where the British government has now affirmed that it will see stable coins recognized as a valid form of payment as part of wider plans to make Britain a global hub for crypto asset technology and investment. They're also going to be exploring ways of enhancing the competitiveness of the UK tax system to encourage further development of the crypto asset market in the UK. This is just such great news, especially for people in crypto within the UK, like myself. And to add to this, you can see from this article, UK lawmakers have voted to recognize crypto as regulated financial instruments. The House of Commons, which is the Parliament's lower house, met on Tuesday and they have a draft bill that already included measures to extend existing regulations to payments focused stablecoins, which are cryptocurrencies pegged to the value of other assets like the US dollar or gold. You guys know like USDT is pegged to the dollar. You have different stablecoins pegged to different currencies around the world. So what they're going to do is treat crypto like other forms of financial assets and not to prefer them, but also to bring them within the scope of regulation for the first time. These measures could regulate crypto promotions. Now, Hong Kong is also making advances in the crypto industry. They have recently overturned crypto rules and opened up trading to retail investors. So they put in new rules in place that would make retail crypto trading legal in the city. The program is expected to launch in March next year and would reportedly put in place mandatory licensing for crypto platforms. If we see recovery in the markets by next year, as many of us expect 2023 beginning, we might see a mini bull run, but the major bull run will be towards the end in my personal opinion or towards the beginning of 2024. 
If we have places like Hong Kong that are able to enter the market, just imagine the new volumes that will enter and potentially stimulate a new bull run. Now here is the biggest one. Twitter will allow users to buy and sell NFTs using their tweets. This just blows my mind. Social media has been one of the biggest driving forces in the crypto industry. It's been a combination of social media, different tweets, Reddit, that's given the crypto industry a lot of enthusiasm. I put in a funny meme about CAPM, which is the capital asset pricing model that gives you an idea of an asset's expected return relative to its risk. And as you can see, they added expected Reddit enthusiasm as that's caused a lot of hype on different cryptocurrencies and stocks such as GameStop. That has caused all-time high rallies in the crypto industry. So it's clear that social media has been integral in causing the crypto industry to develop and get more support. So Twitter will make the NFT marketplace more accessible for its users and these users will also get more accessibility towards crypto. So this is what will happen. There is an integration called NFT tweet tiles and this displays the artwork of an NFT in a dedicated panel within a tweet and includes a button to let users click through to a marketplace listing. And what does this go hand in hand with? Elon Musk. As we know, Elon Musk has been a big advocate of cryptocurrencies. He's led some crashes here and there through his tweets and he has cleared out the Twitter bosses in a $44 billion deal. And this has officially been completed. Finally, we've been talking about this for a while. We need someone like Elon Musk heading an organization like Twitter because he thinks outside the box. He has a very unconventional approach. And I know that Elon Musk has always worked towards advances in technology, whether you like him or not. And on other news, 74% of institutions plan to buy crypto. This is according to a Fidelity survey. Fidelity is back with another institutional survey. And they've said that the overall global digital asset usage is highest among venture capital funds around 87%, followed by high net worth individuals around 82% and advisors, which is around 73%. 35% of the respondents also believe that digital assets should be viewed as an independent investment class. And this is up from 23% in 2021, which is ironic because that's when the bull run is. So people are still advocates of the crypto industry. This is also very interesting. Chris Kuiper from Fidelity Digital Assets, Director of Research. He said that while short-term price fluctuation is a characteristic somewhat inherent to this emerging asset class, many of the other concerns cited by respondents can be addressed as institutional investors move through their journey of education. It seems very clear that institutions, retail investors are all moving towards adopting cryptocurrency, blockchain, Web3 and NFTs. And now we even have Revolut, which is a digital bank. Many of you guys may have Revolut cards or Monzo cards, but Revolut is going to allow customers to make purchases with crypto balances. This is so convenient because that means people don't need to go through that long-winded process of going to exchanges, converting it to their currency, and then paying through their crypto profits. Again, another advance for crypto in the UK since this fintech firm won the registration from the UK's financial regulator to offer crypto services. And here is another company's involvement advancing in crypto, and that is Visa's trademark applications suggest more involvement in the crypto space. So Visa has been applying for its name to be used in software to view, access, store, monitor, manage, trade, send, receive, transmit, and exchange crypto and NFTs. So anyway, guys, that's a quick overview of what we've been seeing happen in the global crypto industry and how institutions are getting involved. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, this is not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research before you invest in anything. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.